Hi, and welcome back. Let's continue. Now we need to work on these three indicators, humidity, wind, and pressure. So we type in humidity.text content equals. Let's display the value of the variable called data in the console so that we can see from where we can take the data on the humidity. For now, let's turn this line of code into a comment. Refresh the page. Then type in New York and hit enter. As you can see, the data on humidity is stored in main and then in humidity. So deactivate the comment mode for this line of code and type in data.main.humidity. Now we need to work on the wind and pressure indicators. First, let's find out the data for the pressure indicator. The data on the pressure is also stored in main and then in pressure. That's why we type in data.main.pressure. After that, we type in wind.text content. For the wind indicator, we need to have two parameters, the wind direction and the speed of the wind. We can take the speed of the wind from the key called wind. For the wind direction, we see 260 degrees, while we need the string value, I mean the words north, east, south and west. In fact, based on the degrees, we can find out the necessary information. Let me explain how we are going to do this on the slide. In meteorology terminology, 0 degrees is the wind from the north, 90 degrees is wind from the east, 180 degrees is the wind from the south, and 270 degrees is wind from the west. We've got 260 degrees. Well, let's apply this trick. We divide each quadrant equally into two parts. So now between 0 and 90 degrees, we have 45 degrees. Between 90 and 180 degrees, we have 135 degrees, and so on. So, if the wind has a value of degrees in the range between 315 degrees and 45 degrees, then it is wind from the north. If it is a value between 45 and 135 degrees, then it is wind from the east. When the value is in the range between 135 and 225 degrees, it is wind from the south. And we have wind from the west when the value is between 225 and 315 degrees. Okay, I hope it's clear. Let's implement this in the code. Before we can set something for text content, we need to find out the wind direction. So let's assign this value in degrees in a separate variable. We type in letdeck equals to data.wind.deck. As you can see on the slide, if the value is in the range between 45 to 135 degrees, then it is wind from the east. So we specify that if the value is greater than 45 degrees and it is less than or equal to 135 degrees, then the value of the variable called wind direction is the word east. If the value is in the range between 135 and 225 degrees, then it is wind from the south. Therefore, we add that if deg is greater than 135 and less than or equal to 225 degrees, then the word south has to be assigned to the wind direction variable. Let's copy these lines of code and paste them below. If the value of degrees is greater than 225 and less than or equal to 315 degrees, then it is wind from the west. Otherwise, it is wind from the north. So it has to be wind direction plus. As you can see, first comes the wind direction, comma, and then the speed of the wind. 
The value is stored in wind and then speed. That's why we add data.wind.speed. Alright, the last thing that we still need to work on is the temperature indicator. So the necessary value is stored in the key called temp. But the temperature value can be positive and negative, right? If it is plus 25 degrees Celsius, we need to add the plus sign before the number. If the temperature is less than zero, then we just need to add the value. So if the value of data.main.temp is greater than the number zero, then we need to display the plus sign with the value of data.main.temp. Otherwise, just the value of data.main.temp has to be displayed. Well, as you can see, we've got that the temperature is 22.91. To get an integer number, here we add math.round. To make it more convenient, I'm going to apply this formatting. Right here, we also need to add math.round. OK, save and refresh. Type in New York and hit Enter. OK, we've got New York, Friday, humidity is 94%, and the wind is from the west with a speed of 1.5 meter per second. We also see the pressure and temperature. Now let's check the weather for Sydney. The wind is from the north, the temperature is plus 13 degrees Celsius, and so on. Excellent, it works. I should mention that we still need to make it so that the weather icons are relevant to the weather details. That's what we're going to implement a bit later. All right, that's all for this lesson. See you in the next one. Bye bye.